Hello everybody, and welcome back to one final episode of Metroid Zero Mission. This is the bonus episode, as this is a complete series, uh, and we finished the story last episode. I thought I'd take one more episode to get all the collectibles. Is, as you can see, loading back into your prior save, there are now a couple things extra on the map. You can see that there is a playtime. Playtime bottom left, and then also a nice little collectible guide of telling you what you have and haven't collected in the area yet. Which is really nice! Can more games do that, please? <laughs> of once you beat the main story, just like say, hey, here's what you're missing in this area, and hey, here's what you're missing in this area. You don't have to give, like, spoil, like, you don't have to say, oh, it's right here, or whatever, just, like, a little, like, checklist of, like, hey, you're still missing stuff in this area. That'd be really nice. Can more games do that, please? Anyways. in the wrong spot. So our first item is going to be up here. So we'll be doing Chozodia first. Speed booster. Huh. So we obviously can't go that way. Looks like we can get speed booster up through here. I... okay. <laughs> that is not where I wanted to go. Another attempt. Too soon. Okay, how do I... angle this thing downwards? to do that. What? Oh, are you kidding me? At least I've gotten that part down. I just, just can't jump fast enough. Don't climb, don't climb. Made it past the first one that time. Way overshot. That is a really tight window. Can I... 
I have a much better idea. I have a much better idea. That's not it. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm down here, a much better idea is to... If I can build it up, I think I can build, yeah, I can build it up in here. Do this. Dang it, they thought of that. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh, come on. It's just the right height. Can I... Would I be able to drop down and then do it? Oh, hi, guys. Hmm, she'll have to see. Ha ha ha! Yes! There we go. Ah, uh, because I was trying to, like, you know, jump through here like this. It's like, okay. Think harder. Wait, no, that's not how the quote goes. Think smarter, not harder, kids. <laughs> almost, almost said the opposite. Whoops. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the most excited you'll see me in quite a while. Um, get out. Thank you. Off to the next location. Down here now. Let's see what I can find over here. The guide blast. I can't wait till we get out of this area. Ah, oh, well, looks like we have to go the other way. All right, so we're back down to here because we couldn't get through that other way. Wait in time. So it says there's an item around here. That looks suspicious. There we go. There's a super missile tank. Which we need for this door, actually, to get through here. Um, so we're right outside here, and there's an item... In this upper section of this place. Here. Somehow. Super bomb. Yep. Or power bomb, or whatever they call it. Yeah, power bomb. Power bomb tank. And it looks like we can go straight into here. Go! On to the next location. So, I knew this is what this was going to be. Arm on my way! Oh, I was about to say, uh... They do that in, like... I know they do that in Dread. Of course, you powerbomb the glass and the whole, like, thing shatters. have down here. More power bomb. Blink. Through here. Oh, hi. Yep, they're just falling from the sky. Uh, thankfully they all just fell from the sky and left the power bomb tank for me. Could have you know speed boosted up there. Yeah, that probably would have been helpful. Anyways, carrying on in Chozodia. Our next target seems to be pretty close. Hey, get out here. 
speed booster. Oh. That is unfortunate. Can we still do this? Can we like... Hey guys, stop it. I cannot wait until we get out of this area. All of these really annoying enemies. Did we mess this up because we no longer have the skylight thing? Or am I supposed to come in from a different direction? Looks like I can come in from a different direction. Huzzah! Let's get, get these. Get these annoying guys out of here. Damn it. Get out. Thank you. Oh, uh, what's this way? Save room? Huh. Interesting. It's like a hidden save room down here. Or maybe I was supposed to come through this way at some point and I just didn't because. Woo. <laughs> That looks like a very easy way to line up a speed booster. Boop, boop. Yeah, that looks suspicious. Down here, you might as well get this. Boink. Super missile tank acquired. Kind of missed a bit of some stuff down here. Take a look over here. Item. Like a maze sort of thing. Let's power bomb it. Okay, so there's the item. Super missile tank. All the way down here. Let's carry on through unexplored territory. Oh. Okay. So we come out over here in Criteria. Can I open this door? Into a watery section, I guess. Sure. Very ominous music. Okay. Oh yes, that was the place we got the the one of the unknown items from. This is the gravity suit. We should be able to move around any. Oh, those are like shark things. Interesting. Okay. 
We'll be back for... Criteria in just a second. We'll be back in just a second. I want to finish off Chozodia first before moving on to a new location. Okay, I guessed correctly there. <laughs> so there's the energy tank from this room. I wonder if you can do this different, like from the other direction, if you don't break the, the, uh, the glass tube. Curious. I have just a couple items left here in Chozodia, so let's get to the next one. Looks like there is a bit of unexplored area down here. Yeah, it says there's an item, alright. There it is. And power bombs are so helpful for finding stuff like this. There we go. There's that one down there. Oh, I put a little check mark next to it. That's kind of nice. <laughs> it's not the because of how many pixels this the GPA has to work with. It's not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of check mark there, but it's there. To the next location. Not too far off, but looks like we have a little spot over here to investigate. Power bomb. Blow that open. Okay, so yeah, that one we have to do from the other side. Um, because for a lot of this, I'm just using a map that I found on the internet. Because I don't want to spend, like, 50 hours just searching aimlessly for stuff. It's a bit of a hyperbole, but you get, you get what I mean. Come on. So, according to the map that I'm looking at... Uh, hello? You there. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So according to the map that I'm looking at, there is a... Like, wedged in there, there is a, another exit to Criteria, so it looks like we have to go over there before we can... And come from that side in order to get it. So anyways, I'm gonna skip that one for now. Okay, yeah, looks like we have a couple things around here. Um, yeah. Which is this, another power bomb. Using quite a lot of them here. Looks like there's something up this way. Bye bye. Yeah, that one's easy. Thankfully, none of them have been. Uh, quite as challenging as... Quite as challenging as that first energy tank. That was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it literally took me about 30 minutes in real life. So I now have like... Two, gig two gigabytes of... Or like two or three gigabytes of footage. On my computer. Oh great, another speed one. So I now have like two to... Two or three gigabytes of footage on my computer of me failing that. Great. There's another thing up here. Do I need to... Looks like I need to speed through here. Maybe not. right back. 
back. Okay. Oopsies. That's not you. Um, yeah. This seems like it's going to be another, uh... Interesting energy tank to get because you have to then go up here, recharge on the slopes, recharge on these slopes, get up here, jump through there, recharge on this slope, jump down, and then go straight through here. That's going to take a few tries. So that's while well, I'm trying that. Uh. I'm going to explain a couple of things. Was I kind of... I kind of feel like I've expended the... Uh... Ah. Expended the commentary opportunities of this bonus episode, so... From now on... I'll probably just be showing cuts of... The stuff I collect. That's quick. Uh, I'll probably just be showing cuts of the stuff, like old, like show where the where on the map I am, and then getting the item, as opposed to commentating over everything. Dang it! So that way I can you know cut more of the stuff. I probably won't do too much like funny edit stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll probably do a little, but. Anyways, so this will probably be the final commentary of Let's Complete Metroid Zero Mission. Hope you enjoyed the series. You know, I had, I had a lot of fun playing the game. It was nice to play a Metroid game again. Was, as of recording, it's still a bit uh, unsure what Nintendo's uh, what Nintendo's plans for the series are. Like, they still have Prime Four in development. But there's been nothing said of that since like was that January 2019 or something? So like almost four years ago, and we haven't had any news on it. Again, at the time of, at the time of recording. Just depending on how long I take to get this out, like if I get this out in September, there could have already been like a September direct that they've shown something off in. But even still, I'm not quite uh, getting my hopes up. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the series. As I kind of mentioned in the end of the actual like final episode, uh, I do plan on playing through the rest of the Metroid franchise. So I'll be playing through them chronologically. So I believe up next chronologically is Metroid Prime, which I will be playing the uh, the Switch remaster. And I'll be fun because uh, that's, I heard it's an exceptional game. Uh, I have not played it and I like to be very I'm very sensitive in regards to spoilers. <laughs> I I really try my best not to spoil myself on things. So I know not much about the game. So yeah, I really do not know much about Metroid Prime. I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but I like I don't know what the I don't know what the like the main gameplay gimmicks are, I don't know what the bosses are, I don't really know what the what even the planets are. I think I've just seen the like uh, I think I've seen, like, the opening section with, like, the space pirate ship or whatever. You fight the big thing in the glass tank. Anyways, I'm going to end this off here. The bonus episode will continue, but don't expect much commentary, if any at all. Uh, because this can get kind of tedious. But anyways, as I was saying, this is going to be the last commentary for this section. Well, for the this, this series, honestly. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably put timestamps, or, like, there'll be the YouTube video chapter feature thing for, like, what areas I'm working on. So, if you're using this, like, if you followed along in the series at all, 
Uh, you can use this to also, like, collect any of the other stuff that is missing, or see complete maps, what have you. Thank you for sticking along on this adventure with me. Hope it was enjoyable for you. There's a couple sections of this game that are a little... Maybe a little outdated. But oh well. You know, it, it's still a fun experience in the year 2023. Yeah. Thus began... Well, thus began our Metroid journey. And this concludes the first chapter in it. Thank you very much for watching. The video will continue... Thank you very much for watching, and see you next mission.